Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video today, I'm gonna to talk about why I have so many planners. Now I've talked about my planner collection for a little while on this channel, and I've also talked about it over on my other channel. I also did a video quite recently where I went through on my other channel, some of the planners that I have been using, but I really didn't go through them in detail. So I'm gonna tell you guys why I use so many planners today and what those planners actually are and how they function in my creative business. Let's go through some of these planners and I wanna talk about what some of them are and why I use them and I want to show you guys that I'm not crazy they're all used for a purpose and they're all very helpful in me planning out my creative business so if you guys want to take any points from this be sure to watch this video. Okay, so to start off with, I think it's important that I mention here that I was not always someone who was very good with planning. I was uh, very spontaneous in my planning. I didn't really, well, I mean, spontaneous and planning don't really go hand in hand all the time. But I mean, I, I really didn't have, I think that level of planning that I needed to run a successful business. And that was a really big issue that I had to overcome quite quickly. And I really needed to find something that worked for me. Quite Often a lot of people these days will do without planners and they'll go to something like a digital planner. And it makes a lot of sense because most businesses a lot of these days are run by digital platforms, digital planning platforms, and they're all kind of interconnected with all the staff. And that's kind of how things are run these days. For some reason, digital planners just don't do it for me. I don't know if it's just that I haven't found the right one yet, but for me, I'm a very visual person. I need to see and, and write down what I'm doing. And it needs to be in front of my face. And there's many reasons why I feel like that's important for me. Um, I'm actually gonna do maybe another video where I talk about why I write things down instead of just kind of typing them out or you know, making a mental note. Um, I wanna talk about that in a different video, but I am a visual planner and I need to see things written down in front of me. I really need that uh, at the bare minimum with my business and my planning. With digital planners, I will say that I've used monday.com. I've, I've used Trello, I've used quite a number of them. I've really found that Monday kind of worked for me in some ways, uh, but I do feel like I'm still kind of just not finding something that works for me in that sense. So if you do have any recommendations for digital planners, I would love to hear about it because as much as I don't like using them as opposed to these kinds of handwritten planners, I do think that they are somewhat essential still uh, in this day in digital age. So definitely feel free to put down some recommendations in the comment section. So using these planners essentially allows me to be more accountable and really allows me to see ahead into the future with things that I need to complete. So I'm not skipping over anything. So I'm not missing anything. That's something that I always used to really struggle with was that I kind of leave something to the last minute and then realize that I had to have it done or I had a deadline that I had to meet. And that's something that I know what I have to deal with in terms of that stress. So this is where my planners come in. So I'm gonna quickly insert a clip now of my yearly planner, which I try and get every year. I actually find it really hard to source a yearly planners where you can kind of like write on it with a whiteboard marker and then easily rub it off if you need to. Those are my favorite kinds of yearly planners. So I really do enjoy using them. Uh, if you have any recommendations for sites that do sell those, I would love to know because quite often I do struggle to source them year to year. And they're one of my favorite things to have and kind of my essentials as well. So you'll see my yearly planner there. I actually got that from Aldi this year. So, I mean, I found it in a very interesting place where I didn't think I would find one, but I really find that yearly planners are wonderful for obviously seeing your entire year. And quite often we do miss those things that are coming up. You know, I put on my yearly planner, I put kind of everything, even if it's not necessarily to do with my business, it might be people's birthdays, it might be holidays and things like that that I'm going to be taking off. But realistically, all of this kind of thing still works in with my business. I need to know when I'm going to be taking days off throughout the year and when I'm going to have to give myself a break from work. And all of this kind of comes into effect when I'm writing on a yearly planner, I kind of have the entire year in terms of how the outlook is for it, what days I kind of need to be taking off, where I need to be placing my holidays potentially or my time away. Um, there's lots of different things that I would put onto my yearly planner, but I wouldn't go too in depth with my yearly. So anything that's happening like day to day with work, or week to week, I probably wouldn't add that on. The only thing that I would put on my yearly planner, for example, uh, is like a really important deadline. So if I had a project that I was working on for a number of months and there was a, a deadline that I needed to really make myself aware of, then I would put that on there. Any financial things as well that are due, I always find it's really handy to put on my yearly planner as well, especially when it comes to your business, because it's good to see that kind of year ahead in that sense. Um, quite often things like that slip under the radar if they're not written down. So definitely something I like to put on my yearly planner. But the one I want to show you right now as well is my monthly planner. And I actually just got this one from Kmart. I really, really like it. It's actually just kind of like a dateless one or 
monthless, I guess you'd call it. And you can kind of write in your own uh, dates, months, times, whatever. So I find it really helpful for content planning. I have three YouTube channels at the moment that I have to produce content for. And at times that can get really confusing in terms of my priorities and where I need to start. I also produce content for Instagram and TikTok and newsletters, blogs, courses, you know, I'm doing quite a lot across the content planning uh, side of things. So this is where all of this goes month to month for my business. And oh my God, it makes such a difference to have that because then I can plan not only for just the singular month, but I can then start planning on to the next month uh, underneath as well. I can kind of move on to the next month. I also do a bit of color coding, so it makes it easier. This is actually one thing that I'll fill in once a month. So usually around the middle of any given month, I'll sit down and look at my monthly planner for the following month, and then I'll start to plan my content uh, for that month. As I said, it's all color coordinated for my different YouTube channels and my different content that I'll be posting. So it makes it a lot easier to see in that respect. I will then take that information and then write out my weekly planner. So I take the content planning that I usually add in on my monthly and then I'll migrate it to the day by day on my weekly planner. Now this really helps because I don't tend to put everything on my monthly planner either. It's mainly for content creation. I feel like it really deserves its own planner to be honest. And then on my weeklies, I'll be putting down, you know, any client meetings that I have on or any projects that I'm working on, any work that I need to be doing and completing along with all my content planning, I'll migrate onto my weekly and daily planners. But for my monthly, I mainly stick to content planning. And then occasionally, if there's a really big deadline that I need to meet, I'll make sure that that's on there as well. So next moving on is my weekly. So as I mentioned, a lot of my content planning then goes on to my weekly planner. I think it always helps to kind of look at your month, to look at your year and really refer back to those planners so you can kind of see where you're at. But with my weekly, I tend to migrate all of my monthly uh, content planning onto each day. I'll then be adding in extra things like my, my workload. So if I'm working with clients at any given point, then I will also write that down um, on each day today. I'll usually break up my tasks or my projects into little bite-sized tasks. I prefer to do it that way. It gives me a little bit of momentum as well for the day, uh, getting things done and breaking them into smaller tasks just really helps with my mental capacity for each day. So I really like to do it that way. Uh, these are not prioritized tasks though. And that's where my daily to-do list comes in. So my weekly kind of is a bit of a dump from the monthly and my, obviously if I'm, I'm working with clients and I'm adding that in there as well, as I said, the daily is really where I am putting and prioritizing my weekly day tasks, which I've written on this planner, the weekly one. And then I'm prioritizing it by what is the most important, what needs to be done first and really putting those tasks in an order. And I think that this is one thing that a lot of people don't do with their to-do lists. And what's one thing that I really find is the most important way for me to get the work done that I need to is to prioritize my tasks on my daily to-do list. And I'll also put any little other things that I need to be organizing on the day, whether they're work-related or not, just to make sure that I've got all bases covered. So now that you can see what I've been doing with my monthly, yearly, daily, weekly, planners, you can kind of see how it all has a bit of a flow and effect there. And it's not completely useless to do it that way. I think it's more for me visually to sit back and see my month, to see my year. I think it really helps in that sense. And maybe you won't find that you need to use as many planners as me. I think everyone's different and most people probably won't need to use as many, but for me, it definitely works. Now I'm going to move on to a couple of my other planners that I'm using at the moment. So self-care planner. I think that this is wonderful. I got this one from Kiki K, uh, which is a stationery store in Australia. They also have an online site and they have some beautiful stationery. I'm obsessed. I always buy my stuff from there. So this is mainly talking about, you know, your self-care focuses for the week, what you're actually going to focus on for yourself. So even if you are running your own business and being a creative freelancer, you need to make time for yourself. You need to have self-care aspects built into your week. I find this is a really good way to, to start with that. So it actually talks about your hours slept. You can write down how many hours you can kind of do a bit of a sleep log. I like to do that actually, especially I really have realized how important sleep is to me over the last few years, especially. Uh, and then really it just kind of talks about different moments that you want to make for yourself this week. Um, something nourishing, my movement, my exercise, something fun, who I'll connect with, just little things like that that I think are really nice to add in day to day. And now for one of my favorite planners. It is my creative planner, also from Kiki K, and I could not walk away without buying this planner because I just thought it was wonderful. This is more of like a closed book planner, but it's good because it's got the spiral, so you can actually open it out 
and it leaves it visually like more there for me to see, which is like I said, something that I need. Uh, so for the creative diary, I think it's really sweet. There's a lot of things in here that you can kind of like use to spark up your creativity for each day. So in the beginning of the book, it talks about a lot of things about centered around creativity that you can kind of do to help spark your day. And you can kind of really fill in certain aspects and really get yourself thinking and manifesting about creativity and what you want to achieve in the year um, when it comes to your creativity. You've got a little monthly planner in here that you can also fill in each month and your goals for your creativity and your creative intentions. Uh, you've got monthly reflections in here, but you also have like your just regular day-to-day -day planner. I think it's really cute actually because you can talk about um, in terms of this week's creative focus, you can write down something in particular that you really want to focus on creatively. Uh, daily inspiration, you can write down your daily inspo uh, for each day, which is sort of nice to be able to think about each day. And then you also have this little creative section here where it'll sort of show you something or, or tell you to do something different every week. So for example, on this page, it's learn a new recipe, make it, enjoy it, and then either draw a picture or take a photo of it. So uh, I haven't done that one this week, but I think that I probably will because it sounds like something that actually sounds quite fun. And then you've just got your daily tasks here that you can kind of fill in. Although you can really just use this kind of diary to write down more things creatively that you want to achieve day to day. I think that's a really special way to do it with its own diary uh, for your creativity. So I really love this one. Like I said, it's available in Kiki K, uh, one of my favorite stationery stores. And then the last planner I'm going to talk about today is my goals journal. And this is also from Kiki K and it's something that I felt that I just could not walk away uh, from purchasing this year. I think that it's wonderful. It's got uh, 90 days of action. So basically you're going to be choosing a few goals throughout the year that you want to focus on. And it has 90 days for you to fill in daily uh, what you're going to be doing to achieve those goals, those little steps each day that you can take. Really allows you to keep yourself accountable for those goals that you're planning and actually allows you to set out those SMART goals in a way that really helps you to see why you want to achieve it and how achievable it may be in any given period of time throughout the year. So I think that it's really nice that uh, there's a journal like this out there for achieving goals. It just kind of guides you along a little bit more with any goals in particular that you want to achieve in the year, whether it's personally or business wise. For me, I use it mainly for my business goals, but um, I think it's another really cool uh, planner to have. And in that sense, it's completely different to the other planners that I also have. All right, guys. Well, I hope this video explained a little bit why I like to use so many different planners and maybe why it might be something for you to consider doing as well. I think the whole element of having planners, I think there's just something for me about holding stationery, about holding uh, books that I can write in, about planners that I can write in and having it really in front of my face. I think it helps me visually, but also helps me to memorize things a lot better as well. And I just think that it's a routine that I've gotten into over many years of having different planners and really something that's helped me with planning every aspect of my business as well. So guys, let me know down in the comment section below if you like to use many planners like I do, or if there's any in particular there that you really want to get your hands on uh, or try out. I'd really love to hear your thoughts below. And let me know if there's anything in particular that you want to see on this channel for me to talk about any topics in particular let me know down in the comments but thank you guys so much for watching this video and i will see you in the next one bye